Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Okay, so today I'm going to give you an objection. I don't want to pay the dock fee. So if you're in the automotive industry, which obviously I'm guessing you are because you're watching this channel, guess what? This is something that comes up commonly in a car dealership every single day. So dealerships, they price their cars online, but they don't put the dock fees on there. Just obviously, we don't need to. But dock fees are something that's a part of a dealership and have been part of a dealership for you know 30 to 40 years. They're not coming off. Every dealership in the world charges them. This is where you need to become very familiar with your dealership, what your dealership has to offer, where you're at on a scale from one to 10 as far as like pricing on the dock fee and really have a strategic plan where if somebody says, hey, I don't want to pay the dock fee, you know exactly what your go-to is. You handle it and you wrap it up. So this is your store for a second. Let's just act like this is your store here, okay? And by the way, this sucks. So let's get this one. Let's say this is your store right here. Okay, so let's say your store has a three, we'll just do this, a $3.99 dock fee, okay? So dock fees, they're going to run anywhere from $1.99 up to $1,200, okay? I want you to know this. So if you have a, let's say you're at a store, and hell, let's just say you have a $699 dock fee. And you're like, Andy, mine's 699 Dude, 699 is nothing. I know dealerships right now that are charging $1,200 for a dock fee. And yes, if the customers don't pay it, they will let that customer leave. Dealerships right now, they price their cars very aggressive. And the only way that they make profit is by the dock fee. And guess what? That right there is just something that dealerships do. There is no way around it. That no dealer's taking the dock fee off. So let's just back into this. That's 699 right here. Guess what? If it was me and I was you and I was sitting there and I'm, I'm in your store and you got a 699 dock fee, I would call that dealership that has that $1,200 dock fee. I know who they are. I'm not going to tell you. I want you to do the research. I want you to go around, call these big stores. There's a, bit, a couple of them in Florida that are huge. Call, hey, and say, hey, hey, what's your dock fee? What's your dock fee? What's your dock fee? There are some states that don't have cap limits on their dock fee. Find those states, you're gonna get a $1,200 one, and guess what I want you to do? Call that place and say, hey, do me a favor. I'm interested in buying a car. Could you send me a buyer's order? I wanna take it to my bank. And guess what happens? That buyer's order will show that car at $13,900. It'll show that $1,200 dock fee on there. And guess what? That right there, that buyer's order, you're gonna take it and laminate it and put it on your desk so that you can physically say, when someone says, hey Andy, you know what man? $3.99 dock fee, $6.99 dock fee, I don't wanna pay that. Say, no, I understand, I get it completely. Look, well number one, let me start out before I tell you what the dock fee is for. Let me tell you that the dock fee is something that's on every car dealership in the United States. It doesn't matter. This probably isn't your first purchase um, on a car. I guarantee on your last vehicle, actually I know that you paid it on your last vehicle. If you have your paperwork in your glove box, I'll be happy to go out there and show it to you that you paid it on your last vehicle. That's for sure. Okay. Every company has a dock fee. Our dock fee is $6.99. Listen, that's about half of what some dealerships charge. And that's when you pull that piece of paper around that's sitting on the side and you say, see, I, I, I have this sheet here to show you example, this dealership's charging $1,200 for a dock fee. Now, obviously you're not there, but we're half. Okay. So with that being said, we are on the low end of the dock fees knowing that they're on every store in the place in, in, in the United States. And also I wanna tell you, me and my wife, I'm in this business. I've been doing this for a long time. Me and my wife just purchased our car. And for the first time I said, hey, I'm not paying the dock fee myself as a salesperson just to see if it was physically possible to get around and guess what? It's not. The reason why, it's a class action lawsuit for every dealership in the world the first time they don't charge a dock fee. You know why? Because if you charge it to one person, you don't charge it to the next, that's a lawsuit. It's never going to happen. The dock fees aren't going away. But dealerships price their cars accordingly to, uh, especially our store, right? And, and that's all I can speak is for me and my house and our store, um, to cover for the dock fee. So I'm going to tell you, with this great price and you paying the dock fee, you're still getting a phenomenal deal. But the dock fee is kind of like going and paying taxes. Um, if I go into a grocery store and I spend a dollar, um, I have 8% tax if that's my state. It's going to cost a dollar eight. I don't say, no, 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 no. It said it was a dollar on the rack. I only want to pay a dollar. You have to pay the tax. So on the dock fees, it's the same thing in any store in the United States. But speaking for our house, we are half of that. You have to pay it anywhere. Knowing that we're lower on the end, we've already, I mean, pretty much set the price on these cars to cover the dock fee coming in. 
So you'll know that that's already been handled. And even me, I've tried it on myself just to see if there was any way around it. And there is no way around it. So with that being said, the fact that you don't want to pay the, pay the dock fee, I completely agree. You didn't probably want to pay it, pay it on your last car, but you did it there anyways. And guess what? Because there's no way around it. This isn't one of those things that's negotiable or leverageable. With that being said, Mr. Customer signed here. And like I said, had it been you know $1,200 over here, I get that might be a little bit concerned. We're actually half of that. So you're good. So guys, I want to give you an example. Overcoming the dock fee. This isn't some sneaky strategy video. This is just like real legit giving you an answer how to overcome when someone says, I don't want to pay the dock fee so that you know how to handle it. You know how to um, say it confidently. And then also you have a go-to. So you're not like saying, um, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Like a lot of salespeople are, you don't need to go get your manager. You need to handle it on your own and you don't need to discount the price and go into your front end gross profit on the deal and then say, Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll ask my boss if he can discount it for the dock fee and then add that back in. I see a lot of people go to that. Quit giving up money, man. Hold it. So I hope this video helps you guys and cross it. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you. I thank you. And I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 918- 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.